Amateur Comedy Hour Rehearsal Dress Rehearsal What's the difference? I have no clue Good evening ladies and gentlemen Parental discretion is advised Hey, how many, I see all the lovely folks here, how many here, how many of you guys are out here on the first date, may I get a show of hands, and this hand, that hand, quite a few people out there, so I guess this is how you will build trust, you know, before you are fully trusted to see the uh, to see the butthole. You know, of course, uh, this is uh, Los Angeles, so I'm skating on extremely thin ice. <laughs> I'm more like uh, surfboarding or water skiing. And I say shit like that because uh, me, I'm uh, by some miracle the gods have given me liberty and uh, made me single. When in true God, uh, Lord Zeus of Mount Olympus, Mount Olympus. But I've always broken the rules of dating. I never like to um, spend money on a bitch. I, I, how could you be calling, calling me ladies, calling these ladies bitches? Alright, fuckers. All you motherfuckers who um, take a fucking uh, recording device when uh, all you single men and all, the, all your married men or men that are dating take a recording device with you when you and the boys are at the bar at the beach have a long time or out there in the broke back mountain a couple of you suspicious friendly motherfuckers out there it's a game you know in America, it's a game, you know, trying to get people's attention, time, ass, money. And I believe that when you're more honest with people, genuine, <coughs> um, natural, normal, it, it'll attract that sort of person to you. So I let uh, let a lot of women know that I'm a, that I'm a whore, a whore with um, an ambition to have an effective lifestyle. And what the hell does that mean? I'm, you know, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I know it's going to require time, focus, traveling, reading, studying, and uh, you guys may find that boring. And uh, I'm cool with that. Totally cool with that. And, uh, you know, so what the hell does that have to do with the butthole? Well, eventually for a lot of guys, some women, but most of the guys just want to fuck. No, not me, you know. So I'm not like that. I'm not like that, babe. I want to get to know you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, uh, who do the dudes call for advice? Business advice. 
life advice. I think a lot of guys uh, mostly uh, talk to men, in my opinion. Generally speaking, broadly speaking, broadly speaking about broads. Yeah, the dating scene gets to me because uh, it's a uh, drawn out, drawn out um, stance or procedure of um, prostitution, where uh, I believe that the woman uh, this generally will decide how many steaks, how many dinners, how many movie. Uh, movies, how many road trips to Vegas will it take to um, have her panties wrap around her uh, fucking ankles and in some cases from what I'm seeing uh, around her cankles. Now the philosopher uh, Tom Likas says that you uh, you know broke ass niggas fuck fat bitches. So if that's the case for you right here, you know what are you doing um, seeking attention when you should be working on your human capital? I'm out here for the YouTube. So I'm trying to brainstorm the um, this topic here about uh, discussion, dating. Because I think it's funny sometimes uh, seeing <coughs> seeing uh, all these headaches that we produce because we're just not genuine and it's, it's comedic. I think comedy um, will help. Um, Soften the blow. So I'm just trying to see how to deliver it by not being too bitter and too jaded. But I'll, gi I'll give you a uh, one of my uh, one of the first dates that I was going on with this uh, thick chick. And some of you motherfuckers say, yeah, that bitch was fat. Uh, I'll say thick when um, the bitch resembles a fucking uh, hourglass. Not a fucking, uh, fucking can of Coke or a beer can. No, that's fat. Kirby is like an hourglass. I eat. Thick ass legs and uh, she caught my attention. What's your number? Let's make this shit happen. Eye contact. No lovey dovey shit. Small talk. And uh, I remember speaking with her. She said some shit over the phone of, uh, yeah, I want to eat here and I want to eat there. I want to eat at all these restaurants. And I'm thinking, man, this bitch is um, telling me what she wants to go do. And me, I'm thinking, you know what? I wonder if she uh, does have any good restaurants in mind that I would be interested in. I wouldn't mind uh, learning about some of these spots. But, um, no, you gotta pay in advance, motherfuckers. If uh, we're not fucking, we're not wasting time. Uh, wasting time and money? No. So what I did, <coughs> wait, but tell me to pick you, want me to pick you up? Oh, around eight, cool. Me calculating the drive. I'm thinking, oh shit, in and out burger. I'll have some free time here. I can go eat some in and out. And uh, pick her ass up. You know, I need to go to the bookstore and check up on um, some uh, reference material. And 
Yeah, I pick her up. There's the uh, Starbucks Satan's coffee there. Would you like something? Let me get a tea, you know. Of course I didn't tell her that I had in I just finished eating that in and out. But um I'm pretty sure she could smell the burger on me. But uh, long story short, she did not give me the booty. And so in case you say, well that's what you get for not uh, giving her a meal and then now um, now I'm saying, sick. is that really, is that really worth a pussy right there? Is your pussy really worth a fucking steak, a burger, a dinner? Is it really? Then, then it's okay. Because to me, when there's chemistry, when people want to um, are into each other, I don't think uh, I think people want to be there for. Um, physical attraction of the character. I think it uh, I think it um, it says something very tiny of you to say that if you wanna get up in this pussy, if you wanna see this fucking asshole, if you wanna get inside this asshole, if you want these fucking um, lips licking you all over, tongue licking you all over. What's gonna cost this sort of meal from this restaurant? I'm thinking, fuck. Man, how, how could you? Man. When did it start with the Happy Meal? <laughs> you know, when did you figure out that, uh, you know, what the adult version of a Happy Meal was? And uh, some of you fucking weenies out there are gonna say, ah, oh, that guy doesn't know what he's talking about. That's why he's single and uh, doesn't have any bitches. <clears throat> I think of the, uh, you gotta meet some of these nice pieces of ass that uh, have asked me to marry them. Oh my goodness, and I, uh, I'm glad that. Uh, these uh, color pencils have no eraser, so I'm forced to uh, focus on um, my technique here. Or else I'd be distracted by the yumminess that I've uh, walked away from. And then I'll be like, mm mm mm, how I missed that. Because uh, I really feel that. Um, your love cannot just be your high school sweetheart. No doubt that there are exceptions to the rule. There are bitches out there that will cook, clean, deserve a fucking Michelin star for their dishes. Um, learn about uh, housekeeping better than um, Batman's butler. But then there are just bitches out there that uh, say, open my door. No, I deserve this, I deserve that. I need a bigger rock from uh, produced out of human slavery on my um, on my finger. Alright, so you better go out there and save up and, and give it to me or else, you know, you're a cheesecake. Alright, because I need that rock because so all these people can know that um, oh, my pussy's worth it. Again, uh, speaking to the YouTube world here. I, uh, it, it almost seems uh, pathetic that needs to be that these points that these points need to be addressed on the YouTube channel in a comedic way and in the in an attempted way of comedy. That these things are not obvious. That the that these things will obviously continue. But uh, it just bothers me um, personally when I just keep on seeing uh, these things of 
um, like hurry up and buy this relationship, hurry up and get this relation relationship, get hitched already. This, the sale's gonna end. Hurry up, soon, soon, soon. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. Cause that, that's how. Cause that's how I see it. I see it as um, someone telling me, "Hurry up and buy." If you don't buy, get out. And uh, no, 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 no. That's a life decision, man. And uh, again, I, I've just seen um, enough miserable people, man. And you'll see it. Uh, go look. Go buy some groceries. Well, first look, go somewhere, get some fast food, turn it through a drive through Go buy a cup of coffee, preferably at the coffee bean. You know, go to the shittier Starbucks. Um, then go buy um, some groceries. And then you could go, let's say, anywhere else out in public. Walk around, walk around your, your block. Just see people's face of misery. It's there. Don't become that.